well, just got back from a mammogram. Boy, was that fun. Lift this, push that, stick it. They take it and squeeze it and grab it and crunch it like it doesn't even belong to your body. And then the fat in the way and move the fat and stick your butt out. Jeez. Whew. Anyway, I just got mail. Bills. 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 Oh, Amazon. Woohoo! I love Amazon packages because, you know, I like to order stuff and amuse myself. Let's see what today brings. Oh, look at that! Out with the Batwater by Brian Shovelton. It's a Brian Shovelton book. Well, I need glasses for this. Woohoo! Out with the Bathwater. Brian Shovelton. Oh, Brian, that's so cool. Where's, uh, where's this dedicated to my good friend Betty who supported me through all our bullshit? No. No part of this book may use to reproduce. Are you kidding me? Out with the bathwater. This book is for all the people that have fallen along the way. I am weary, but I fight for you still. Peace and potato juice. Potato juice? What about hot dog water? I want a potato juice and hot dog water martini, please. Wow, look at this. Brian. Wow, I can't wait to get into all of this, Brian. Introduction. If you're holding a small book in your hands today, you clearly have issues. Don't mistake my meaning, though. I put no bad connotation on the word issues. We all have them. I'm fucking loaded with them, and while they do make things challenging at times, they also make things interesting. It is because of my issues that I'm able to communicate through writing, music, etc. It's a matter of how you deal with the issues and unfortunate events in your life. Everything is perspective. Oh, I totally believe with that. That's I agree with that. There is no reality. It is all perspective. And bullshit happens to everybody. We all have issues and bullshit happens to everybody. We live on a negative planet. It's how you deal with them and accept them and roll with it. So yeah, totally agree with you, Brian. When I started putting this book together, I realized that a lot of the pieces could be seen as dark and depressing. Huh. And that's true. Some are dark, depressing, and even fucking dire. However, my job as a writer is to communicate that which I feel, see, witness, and experience. This is no light. Oh, there is no light without the dark, and the darkness will bring its own strange gifts. Don't shy away from the darkness or the light because you will be missing out. Finally, I just wanted to say thank you to anyone reading this or to, to anyone who has supported my music in any format. You are beautiful and I love you. Oh, I love you too, Brian. Writing and playing has given me an amazing outlet to work out my issues. However, more important in my mind is that somewhere, someone will be able to relate to my work. Maybe you'll realize you're not alone. Maybe you'll realize that you can face the darkness and survive. Maybe you can gain insight from something I've written or sung and you can walk away with some comfort. Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you're just a beautiful person inside, Brian, despite your issues. Because in the end, we all want a little comfort, a shelter and respite from the harshness of modern reality. In the end, we all want just a little truth and understanding. Anyway, I hope you like the dead pieces of tree in your hands with the scribbles on them. Love you all. Well, most of you anyway. Oh, Brian, I'm so excited. I'm very proud of you, Brian. Good for you. I can't wait to get into this, either if it's dark or light. I know you've got a lot going on up here, so I cannot wait to get into this. Hey, but you too can go get your own copy of our own Brian Shovelton's book, Out with the Bathwater. Just go on Amazon and look for it. Cool. Support our local artists, musicians, writers, painters, whatever. We got to support them. Love you, Bri. Woohoo!